When I'm at my end Tears pouring down And I can't see past What's in front of me now When it's all What are you doing? What are you doing? My God! I'm so lost! I'm really confused at this point of my life. I don't know why I am here on earth. Sometimes I wonder who I am. What I am even doing here. I wonder why you created me sometimes. Because nothing in my life seems to be working. In school, I've switched departments three times because I can't even figure out exactly what to study. Ah, I don't even want to talk about the jobs. The job market has not been a favorable place for me at all. The employers never seem to see anything good in me. Oh, I have been fired not once, not twice, not thrice. When they hire me, they are so excited to bring in new talent. I give in my best, but somehow they manage to lay me off. What's wrong with me? Why can't I ever get it right? I don't know exactly what to do anymore. Do you understand? Like, I guess maybe the only option left is to open a church. But in this day and age, who would want to come to a church opened by a woman? <sighs> I have no idea what else I should do in my life. I have failed in almost every area. <sighs> Stop looking at me like that. Say something. I'm tired. My daughter. Yes, father. If you don't have faith, <laughs> you cannot succeed in life. You have to believe in me. Can I help you? I did not create you for you to be confused. No, be jobless. Neither be frustrated. The Holy Spirit is your helper. You don't have to fear, you have to have faith in me. You don't have to be isolated because I'm with you always. You don't have to be without hope because I'm always there. Trust in me. I've given you strength, my daughter. <sighs> so many times I don't feel like it. I just feel completely lost. My life is so unscrewed. You don't need to be lost. Father, I can't even screw the life together. Please help me. Life is easy. And you trust in me. I'll make everything easy for you. Now, do you know why you feel this way? No. It's because the devil have made you to believe so. How? I gave you the option to choose life and blessings that you decided to choose curses and death father how can you even say that of your child it is left unto you to just believe in me 
you need to have faith in me. How do I do that? The preacher says that every Sunday in church. I try by the little actions I make. I try, Father. If you try, then you will not declare yourself as confused. You will not declare yourself as lost. You will not declare yourself as jobless. You will not declare yourself as faithless. <sighs> The power of life and death lies in your tongue. I've given you the authority. <sighs> it is just for you to call. And I will answer you. <laughs> but you did not do that. Father, many a times I call, but it's like you're not listening. I wonder if you're on errand for seven plus billion people that you're so busy for me. You call me with your mouth, but your heart is not with me. How can you say that? Father, <sighs> do you know the meaning of faith? You tell me. I know you have several ways you have defined faith, but there is one thing you miss in the way you look at faith. You include fear in your faith. But how? Just look at it. You really declare yourself confused because you are afraid. You really declare yourself as a loser. Whereas, I've given you power that in the name of Jesus Christ, you can overcome everything. But Father, sometimes I call on you through that name and nothing seems to be happening. Or am I just blind to the reality of it's happening? Do you know the purpose of your existence? No! At this point, I don't get it. Because I would have been able to have established a very good business, work in a Fortune 500 company, or at least be a top scholar in the academia, but none of that seems to be happening, don't you see? So among all the reasons of your existence, that is the only purpose you could see. Father, what else? Do you want me to start a church? King Solomon, he experienced all type of things. At the end of the day, he concluded, life is vanity upon vanity. Even if I give you all, you will still cry for her no matter how rich I make you to become you will still need me even if now I give you all these kingdoms without you fulfilling the main purpose of life you will lose it all Adam and Eve they had the great privilege I gave them dominion over there over the fish the animals. In fact, I made him to name them. That is to say how much I love you. But what happened? The sin against me. And now, the purpose you see in life is just about having all this vanity, 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 vanity. I'm a loving father. And I have all the blessings for you. But I need you to focus on the main thing, which is the purpose of life. What is the purpose of life? The purpose of life, it is for you to focus for the other life. Eternal life? Yes. But Father, you talk about eternal life. So why did you keep us in this world in the first place? And the sad part about it is that the devil is a prince of this world, meaning everything is under his authority. So how are children of God supposed to thrive in such a world filled with darkness? And you talk about an eternity of light with you. How are we supposed to transit from here successfully to meet you in that blissful eternity? My daughter, Father, it is very simple. If I give you all these things and I don't give you eternal life, 
you will still be the very one that will cry to me. And you will be asking, Lord, why did you permit me to live just a few years on earth? And I go and perish at the end of the day. Which do you prefer? To have eternal life full of blessings? Oh, you want to enjoy here on earth and you suffer at the end of the Father, day. Father, I want both. Don't you get it? I want both. That is the daughter I love. When you come for both, I will give it to you. How? That is the reason I told you. Just ask me. But ask me with faith. Believe in me and I will give it to you. I do not create you to suffer. I do not create you to be in pain. How? That is the reason I told you to have faith in me. If you believe in me, I will give you everything. My goal and objective for you, the purpose I created you, it is for you to enjoy everything. It is for you to be in joy, to have good life. But you know, even when I bless my servant David, his focus was to look into the other part of life. And now here you are. You have everything. It is just for you to trust in me, believe in me, have faith in me, and I will give all to you. Father, of a truth, you have spoken well. How could I forget about eternal life? How could I forget that there are three things at last? Faith, hope, and love. And I remember your word saying that the greatest of them all is love. Does that mean if I love you with all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my mind, and I love my neighbors like I love myself. I'll be able to find meaning, purpose. I'll be able to excel. I'll be able to truly know who I am, why I'm here. I'll be able to know your purpose and plan for my life when I walk in faith, in hope, and in love. With eternity in view, is that what you're saying, Father? Yes, my daughter. <sighs> Do me a favor. I'm all yours, Father. Talk to your roommate, Rose. Okay. She's always confused. Same as you. As I used to be. Not anymore, Father. And like I always tell her, she needs Jesus. Can you help me send your Holy Spirit to her? I really want to win her into your kingdom this year 2024 i want to always go to church with her pray with her and to be with her in heaven for all eternity can you help me send your holy spirit to talk with her my daughter yes father you are my vessel you are my ambassador you go do it why don't you talk to her I always just believed that I would just go and minister to her. But that is the reason I placed you there. But I need the Holy Spirit to put the words in my mouth. Just go. I'll be with you. <sighs> Never you say that you love your neighbor if you cannot talk about Jesus to the neighbor. If you cannot talk about Jesus to your neighbor, then you don't love your neighbor. And because I love my neighbor, I will tell my neighbor about Jesus Christ so that we can spend eternal life with you in heaven. Right? If you do that, my daughter. Yes, Father. I will bless you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. <laughs> Stay blessed, my daughter. Thank you. Father, I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, how you love me, somehow that frees me to take my hands off of my life and the way it should go.
so much for watching this video hope you were really blessed please subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notification bell also do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms like facebook instagram tiktok and twitter we encourage you to share this video and bless others and oh yes we encourage you to check out our other edifying videos on this platform to keep enjoying the moment Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for watching, watching and God, God bless you. you.